Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Blair, the owner of Black Ink Discs, and today we're just going to go over the origins of Black Ink Discs, how it all started, and the plans for the future. So, welcome Blair. Uh, today, uh, we're just going to go over, like, like, how did you guys start? Like, how long have you been a company? And, like, what are the roots? Like, where did Black Ink come from? So, uh, like most things, well, not like most things, I guess, but fortunately, Black Ink started as a hobby, and it grew into a business. I was very fortunate with that. Um, so basically, Black Ink Discs used to be Black Ink Custom Disc Dies. So it used to be a dye company. Oh, yeah. So what you're talking about me with the cricket, mm -hmm. I used to take the, you know, the, the same type of thing and take like a X-Acto knife and cut out designs and dye. I used to do that by hand. It would take me an hour, two mm -hmm. hours, three hours to do one disc. Mm -hmm. So I found it, I found a, a disc at a course under a tree, mm -hmm. called the number, no name, you know, did, they didn't want the disc. So I dyed the disc, turned around and sold the disc. Oh, yeah. Bought, bought two more new discs, dyed those discs, turned around and sold those discs. That's how Black Ink started. Awesome. Like, what year was this? Like, that was in like 2010, 2011. So no way. And now you're already like you sponsor the Disc Golf Pro Tour. I see your tents out there all the time. You no, know, so so I went from doing it by hand. I invested in a Cricut machine. Bought myself a Cricut machine. Started pumping out designs with a Cricut machine. Uh, after the Cricut machine, I got all the way from dying. I want nothing to do with dying anymore. I started to do it, doing my own custom stamps on disc, and that's where I went from there and just started mass producing custom stamps. Yeah, so you do do you do most of your sales online or just like in your store with all these discs here? Uh, we started off online in 2012 and I opened up the brick and mortar, I want to say three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, I probably do still the majority of my business online, but I still have a nice uh, local. Awesome. Here. And I see uh, you've impacted the disc golf community probably more than anybody else by putting in a couple courses, the North Side and the Lake Springfield. Uh, just walk me through like how that all started and the process of everything. Uh, well, nobody came to me. I went to the rest of the people. You know, yeah. the the need was there. I saw it. I wanted wanted it done. So that's kind of how things are. If you want something done, you just have to mm -hmm. do it yourself. Sometimes um, I did not get paid for any of those projects. They're all donations mm -hmm. and. Uh, for the community, but it helps grow the sport. So in my view, hopefully it's like a trickle down effect. So mm -hmm. I get more people in the, the game, mm -hmm. brings more people into the store to buy more discs. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. Why. So with your North side, uh, you're actually putting on a tournament with a new 18 building. So what are your plans with that course in the future? Like, what are you excited about going on? Well, it's currently nine holes and we're making it the 18 hole course. Uh, it should be another premier style 18 hole course to, that's different from Lake Springfield where it's a different total style. So I'm happy to host a lot of monthlies, tournaments there and you know just build the community hopefully get another course in the future. Yeah, no, it's been awesome. I love playing those two courses. There are probably like, I'll go there at least one of them once a week more than anywhere else. So in like the next like five years, you plan on putting any more courses in the area? Do you have any like spots for an idea? I would love to. Uh, it's more or less getting the land to do so, you know, mm -hmm. uh, if Springfield's willing, I would love to continue to grow. That's my focus. I want to grow the area here in the area that impacts me and the people in the area versus just in the Midwest. I want to impact the, the area that's closest to where we live, or where I live. Yeah, yeah. No, that's huge. And uh, probably about one more thing um, with your design process, you being like a creative individual starting off from just a cricket machine. How is that adapted from the cricket machine to mass producing your custom stamp disc and sponsoring players with their custom stamps as well? Well, I still, even with the cricket machine, I still did my own individual drawings, which you can, I'm sure you're yeah. familiar of, you can draw things and run them through like a file on the internet to turn them into, uh, oh gosh, what's the word for it right now? Um, just vector like, image. Yeah, yeah the, the, just a vector file and you can shoot that vector file over to your um, cricket and it cuts it out for you. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, still, I just want to just want to be unique. I don't want to just pull art off of the internet. I've always just tried to do something different. Um, so that's that's where we're basing stuff out of. So hopefully, with some new designs, it'll be a little bit more different this year and push the the industry to keep following. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you. That's all we have for today. Thanks. 
Uh, thank you for just having this conversation and being here today. And I appreciate you for everything you do. Like your courses are awesome. Your discs are awesome. And you've probably made more of an impact in the disc golf community than anybody has ever walked around here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us today. Hope you have a good day, guys.